This story was taken from the residential interior project entitled Little Harbor, finished renovated by Sean Anderson Design Studio. This is a two-story home nestled in Naples, Florida, where the clients spent their winter. They who are design enthusiasts themselves don't like the typical blue and white beach house. So they hired the Memphis-based interior designer Sean Anderson to meet their envisioning earthy neutrals and feelings of weightiness, solidity, and intimacy. Then as usual, Anderson would successfully embrace a neutral palette into it by brings natural elements, furnishings, and artworks imbued with specific special details. Anderson began his work by removing dated features like faux columns and tile floors, and he even convinced the clients, who had lived in the home for more than a decade and were very accustomed to the layout, to flip the living and dining rooms. While it did take some getting used to, the swap ended up making the home feel completely new. It created a more even flow and helped orient everything in the house. Beneath the great room's beamed ceiling, Anderson has positioned a tufted sectional sofa, as well as its saw cabinet and textured concrete coffee table, both OD which he designed. A unique collection of antique Chinese loom brushes serves as artwork. The serene master bedroom is furnished with a 19th-century French iron canopy bed, its headboard upholstered in a sand-colored Belgian linen. A broadloom sisal floor covering edged in leather is accented with an antique oriental rug. Throughout the home, floor-to-ceiling drapes hang beside many of the windows and even on the walls, as in the living room, where three walls are covered, creating a lovely juxtaposition to the curved archways and domed ceilings. Anderson loved the drapery effect, using the same fabric to bring a cohesiveness throughout. It's very unexpected, and just the sheer mass of this drapery is really impactful. The kitchen armless counter chairs are composed of stained and limed walnut and upholstered in leather. A custom three-arc pendant lamp hovers over the eating island. In the new dining room, a high domed ceiling suggested a need for circular furniture and fixtures, including a rounded, heavy wooden dining table, a light fixture made of many spheres and exposed bolts, as well as custom swooping bench seating, designed by Anderson. The painting on the wall was also done by Anderson, a new venture for the designer and an additional sign of the trust between him and the homeowners. The bright master bathroom, painted in a classic gray, features custom mirrors, a freestanding tub set beside a window, and separate his and her vanities, each lit by sconces made of pewter and polished nickel.
In the den, Anderson designed a circular, legless, porous concrete coffee table to anchor a large neutral sofa. But, the real, wow, moment of the room as its vaulted, beamed ceiling. Previously, all of its surfaces were the same color, causing the elements to blend together. Anderson stained all of the kaolin planks darker to allow for the contrast and the wood tones and to give the beams the presence they deserve. Artist Rand Adler affixed scores of acacia thorns that he had collected in southwest Florida to the wall of the breakfast room, resulting in an artwork entitled Flight Pattern. Anderson designed a leather banquette for the space, which is illuminated by both natural light and a large zinc finish pendant. <laughs> 